Hi, it's Michael Gaffney with a tutorial for Michael's Flower Garden. Michael's Flower Garden are the most perfect flowers shipped and FedEx to you overnight from California's finest farms. Uh, the reason I have the best flowers is because I've been at florist for many, many years and I know the business. I know how to get the flowers to you. And you can't be sending them from Ecuador and other countries because they simply spend too long um, out of the ground and in hot and, and trucks being shipped. So, Michael's Flower Garden, the freshest flowers FedEx overnight to you with every bouquet. I send a secondary bouquet to somebody in an assistant or a nursing home to brighten up their day too. So, flower power everywhere. So, here's one of your tutorials. You've gotten this whole box of flowers for around $100. Um, we always include lots of beautiful greens. So, I'm going to take my greens and I'm going to kind of crisscross to the left and turn to the right. Watch again, I'm gonna throw it over here and give it a little twist. So I'm forming a little green plant in my hand. Uh, very easy to do, just sort of have them all arching out and spinning your hand. So you're gonna create a grid for the flowers that you receive. Whether you receive uh, uh, whatever flowers you have, this is a good design for both line and mouth. So there is our handful of flowers and now I'm going to just cut these a little bit and I'm going to drop them into my vase like that and I've already began to form a grid in that container. I also received some Grevillea today, one of my favorite greens that I'm using a lot lately. Uh, Grevillea, I'm going to take some Grevillea and Create, uh, keep building out that grid. Now watch carefully. In a flower arrangement, lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. Some of these need to go sideways through your container in that lower deck. Some of them need to go on top in the penthouse. Some of them need to go in the middle. That's called the upper deck. So I'm just feeding them into this green. So I'm creating a beautiful base of green. Uh, whether you're, you're using one green or three greens, it's up to you. But you're going to strip off, clean off the bottoms a little bit, and send some down low, in other words, sideways through the vase, and some up high in the penthouse, up here, and all around the house. Michael's Flower Garden, the freshest flowers for next year overnight. You'll be amazed at the size of the box you get. Why are you getting so many flowers? Because I know everybody in the flower business and they like me. So they're doing me a favor by shipping extra flowers to my clients. Uh, because I've been bu buying flowers for them for almost 30 years. So look at what I've created. I've created a nice grid. And what happens when you grid your greens, I call it, also call it in class clogging the drain. Wherever you put a flower now, it's going to stick. Put that off to the side. Ooh, I also have some uh, uh, Italian uh, 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 eucalyptus. Very pretty. Uh, it's a nice gray shade. It'll add a different tone to our design. Clean off the bottom, and again, a little bit down low. A little bit up high. My little trusty red knife is missing today. And a little in the middle. As a florist, people always ask me what clippers you use. We don't use a clipper. We use like a single blade Swiss Army knife. I carry it around the country. I'm out at the airport saying, oops, sorry, at the uh, metal detector. I'll get another one when I get to uh, Los Angeles. So go ahead, keep it. Um, so now we've created a nice grid. That is your beginning. Need one more piece to balance out this side, right over there. Now we're going to tuck it in a little bit. It's going to be nice and straight. So look what happens when you put flowers into your new gridding system. They stick almost as if there was foam in your design. So now we're going to start. We're not giving up these a ton of flowers. We have beautiful green. You don't need to put that many flowers in here when you have this amount of green. So you're going to have a lot of the difference between a line and a mass flower. You need to know that a line flower is a long flower like a gladiola snapdragon, uh, uh, larkspur. A mass flower is flowers on a, a ball on a stick, like this. This is a mass, M-A-S-S. -S. 
I'm going to drop in a couple of hydrangeas. The important thing is they, they float right on top of your greenery. The secret to hydrangeas, by the way, is alum powder, A-L-U-M. When you get your, you know they're famous for collapsing, when you get your alum powder, you put your hydrangeas in alum water, which means you pour powder in the water and let them sit there for about an hour. Then pull them out. That'll make your hydrangeas, that'll keep them lasting for weeks. We have some beautiful stock down here. I'm going to put some stock in there. Again, remembering to hit all the decks. Upper deck, lower deck, and penthouse. I just cheated. Do not hold your flowers. Lay people hold their flowers like this up in the air and try and get them in. You must hold it down here and you must feed, feed, feed. Everybody in my classroom knows feed. Punch it through those greens. Punch it through. I'm going to snap these for a minute because my knife is dull. So there I put some stock in my design, but you notice how everything is being held beautifully in place. This has taken me all of two minutes so far, spin it around, check it from all sides, and then I'm going to take a few roses and put them in. Again, Michael's Flower Farm sends these flowers, FedEx overnight, the greatest flowers. Students in my classroom know that my flowers last two to, two to three weeks. Um, not five days. The average American says five days when they receive flowers. I recently did a tutorial, you can see it online, of other online flower shippers just to see what they would send. I couldn't believe it. First of all, I got little bouquets this big for $85 sitting in the bottom of a little box. Um, and now one of their bouquets, I ordered from eight different companies. Uh, I got flowers from uh, the uh, South America near volcanoes. I got flowers from a girl on a farm. I got flowers from Global shippers, they're called. Um, and not one of them lasted beyond the third day. So look at what I'm doing. I'm hitting my lower deck by setting this sideways. That's the part that most um, amateurs don't do. You don't do your lower deck. So I'm going to put a few more rows in here. Again, you don't need a ton of flowers because your greens are so pretty. Feed, feed, feed. And there it is, your vase arrangement in about three minutes. Perfect for any table, perfect to take over your neighbors, say welcome to the neighborhood. The secret was I greened it in first. So I could use a few more. In the lower deck, you're learning, lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. I need a lower deck flower over there to round it out. So, not a ton of flowers, but sure is pretty. Uh, and I could go on, I could fill in a little bit. Or I still have a couple holes in my design. So with every order, we also send flowers to a nursing home or assisted living facility to brighten somebody's day on your behalf. So it's really two bouquets for the price of one. Um, and there's tons of flowers for the cost, tons. When I got the flowers from these other online companies, I was shocked at what $85 was. I can do a lot better than that. So I started Michael's Flower Company. There. Pretty design in three minutes. Nice base to range of. So michaelsflowergarden.com or flowerschool101.com. And if every order, you also get a little bottle of my secret formula for keeping flowers alive. Uh, flowers are like balloons. You gotta keep the water in them and, and they, they'll keep growing. Why would they die? So, michaelsflowergarden.com, here's your tutorial on what to do with those flowers you receive from my gardens. And go to flowerschool101.com. We have online classes, we have offline classes, and we have classes all over the place. 15 cities across the country and in Europe. Uh, teaching students formulas. It's not just throwing flowers at base. You need, it's like cooking. You need to know the formulas. So here's one of your tutorials. Michael Gaffney saying, Flower School 101, keep blooming. I'll see you uh, somewhere.